Now we go to module five of creation and uh, business growth. Ethics and social responsibility of uh, business. And when we look at look one, unit one, it discusses the importance of ethics in business. Ethics is a concerns an individual moral judgment about doing what is right, knowing what is right and wrong. So whether it's in business or out of business, ethics is very important for neighborliness and uh, society. Well, <coughs> sometimes they are written or uh, unwritten codes of morals values and the principle it's not everything that somebody will that will be written so the moral ethics a lot of immoral things that are going on in the society they knew people knew that know that these things are wrong and each time they happen everybody start condemning them they are unwritten moral codes of conduct, moral codes, moral values, and the principle, though they are not written, is uh, accepted and understood by the society. So uh, from the convention to culture. So in business, there are things that are um, ethical and unethical. Reputation is one of the most important assets of a company. When you think about goodwill, cost of goodwill and uh, reputation, they are unquantifiable. And any company that has it, the, the, the value is normally beyond measure. And you see somebody paying so much billions for a business, he says, is it not this uh, little business? No, it's the reputation. The goodwill has a lot of uh, cost within it. So ethical behavior and uh, corporate social responsibility can bring significant uh, benefit to a business if they are doing ethical things. There are businesses I know that you go to buy things, something is uh, written on the package of the, the product and when you open it, it does not even measure to the uh, to the picture or the explanation or the uh, the picture you saw outside or during the advertisement is very unethical switching is unethical so bait and switch you will use something to uh, present to somebody on the face value the person believes you and when she comes you give the person a different thing altogether it's called bait and switch uh, is unethical and then uh, immoral. It is important to create co ethical culture in an organization. When an organization has ethical culture, the way it behaves, the way they do things in an organization, they, they try to key in the employee to understand the culture of the organization. If you if you if you if you don't do that, the uh, the employees may start behaving the way they like you, you have to define the company's ethic ensure that you have necessary tools to work and bring about a desired outcome strengthen the behavior you want in your employees you focus on building skills among your employees you tell don't tell them to do things without uh, you know, equipping them with the uh, necessary uh, ingredients for the work. And you focus on building skills. So, in conclusion, we say that reputation is one of the most important assets of uh, any company. And in doing so, you have to carry the employees along because the closest people to the to the patrons and clients 
are the employees before they will see the managing director and the executive director whatever they see of them whatever they tell them that the culture is that what they believe not waiting for the managing director who want to tell them what they want to know so it's critical that the employees are carried along in the company's culture the company's way of doing things what the company values most you know some will come you know during the advert he said it our customers are our our greatest value or what we care about you should care about employees too care about other stakeholders so it's not what he said it's what is being done and the employees if you don't handle them well they can ruin your reputation so it is one of the most difficult tasks to build reputation once it is lost if the reputation is lost you cannot bring it back you will start building a good reputation with consistent ethical behavior potential investors and shareholders are likely to get attracted to companies which adhere to good uh, moral guidelines because when I know some international uh, organization and companies uh, when they understand there is a ethical guideline that uh, controls the operation of a certain company they don't need to come there and see because reputation follows you and some reputation go ahead of you when you buy the product from the company people will now say that oh that is good and they really said this thing about this company but when your reputation goes ahead of you they say why don't you go to that company to buy they already assure people there is like almost a guarantee that when they go there you get the real one so your reputation goes ahead of you so this moral guideline is uh, important that all the uh, stakeholders in every organization should understand it and uh, adhere to it for the growth of the company and the growth profitability is what follows growth until we meet again keep reading